You want a clean pool? It's a little bit of work. I told him I need okay. to get a new thermometer. So, Ours broke, I guess. There are a few things I want to go over. With the pool, what you do daily is you turn the pump on. Oh, that's on. Off. On. He said to run it for 12 hours or so. And it depends on how much sunlight there is, how much it's rained, and how many, um, you know, different pieces have gotten into the pool. So you want to run it pretty much daily as you use it, especially if there's going to be a lot of people using it. And then we want to take our opportunity to ensure the clarity of the pool by skimming the leaves off the top and uh, checking the skimmer on the pump itself as well as the one on the side of the pool. Anytime you're going to handle the pump, filter, the pump must be turned off. Okay, so before handling this, you have to turn it off. Yep. Okay. This is pressure. Okay. Here's your pump. This is the pump? That's the pump head. This is the pump head? Yep. Okay. This is filter cleaning the pool. So what we want to do as needed, this is an as needed thing. You want to check on it daily, but as needed, you want to put in the chlorine and then put in the algae treatment, which is the Clorox. And then you want to check the skimmer baskets and clean them out as needed. You want to check the, the floating chlorine tablet holders and add as needed. Okay, so this is the chlorine. chlorine this is powder. the type of chlorine that they use. It's Clorox, pool chlorine. So and four then four pounds of powder. Four pounds of powder. Goes just directly over into the pool. Yep, we got three cups of the algae side. Do you do this after you add chlorine. the chlorine? It so add the chlorine and then add the algae removal directly and into the water. Two to three cups of muriatic acid, which we don't have. Okay. Everybody sold out. So two to three cups of muriatic acid. I will attach a picture of what that looks like. And then I'm going to pull it out and open it up. Check if they are dissolved. Add more. Adding tablets in the skimmer basket is optional. Okay. And then just put it back in the water. Okay. Wait 15 minutes before. Gotta... All right. So part of the pool cleaning process has to do with vacuuming the pool. You take the vacuum head that's coiled up in the corner by the side of the house and you take the pole which is usually attached to the leaf skimmer or the leaf net depending on whether you're getting off the top or you're getting the leaves from the bottom. Put the net head back in the brown thing so you don't lose it. It can blow away and it can get really disgusting. So make sure you wash your hands. Washing your hands is super important. All right. The net head back with the pool supplies which you want to do daily as much as possible because the cleaner the pool is the nicer it is to swim in okay that's the brush for the bottom if you need to brush the sides brush the sides what is it's this? a vacuum piece of the tactics tip skim vac so it goes over the skimmer so you can see that he's just straight putting it in there okay so we're having to open up the skimmer to vacuum once you do that, you hook it up through pushing the water through the hose. So you put the pole onto the actual head, the rolling head of the vacuum. It's got to be submerged. And then you push the blue hose into the water and you'll use this, this hole down here that is pushing out water into the pool you will completely fill the hose with water so you want to ensure that all the bubbles are not happening anymore and then once you do that you take it under the water you make sure it stays under the water you don't want any water in, or air in it and you put it onto the skim vac attachment that goes in the skimmer that goes in the skimmer and then you attach the hose ensuring that there's no air in it and you just lightly go back and forth over the bottom of the pool as needed to remove any cloudiness or leaves or anything else that's on the bottom. Okay, it has trouble with worms. You can feel the suction. You should be able to feel the suction. If you're not feeling the suction, I would start over. Repeat. 
you want to start over with the process of putting it full of water and then pulling the hose over here to the skimmer and reattaching. That yeah, means that you need to empty the skimmer and ensure that there's nothing in there and then go ahead and pull the water all the way through the hose and ensure that there are no air bubbles. That is why you're not getting suction. And then you'll come over here to the skimmer. You've finished vacuuming. You're ready to move on. You can see that it's plugged in, so you just unplug it. It's still on, so it is still suctioning, so you do have to kind of pull it, but you'll pull the attachment out. You can see that the chlorine tablets and what has been suctioned is in the basket. We got the worm. So, pull the tablets out. This way you're not breaking them all over everything. And at this point, just go ahead and dump it out as best you can. And then set it back in there. Make sure it sits flush all the way down. Okay, sit, sit it super flush all the way down. And then put your chlorine tablets back in. Optional. All right. Which are optional. They are optional, but you're yeah. going to have a cleaner pool. All right, put the lid back on. And then you put all of the attachments back in a place where you're going to find them. So we're going to pull the hose. Pull the hose, pull the hose. I know. You're going to pull the hose out, remove all the water. You're going to wrap the hose back up and set it back in its place over on the other side of the house. So you'll know where it is for next time. What you want to do weekly is backwashing. If there is a bunch of nasty stuff going on in the pool, you want to get rid of that. So we do that. You shut the pump off and then you make sure it stops running because you can really damage the material if you don't turn it off. And then you move the dig the handle all the way around from filter to backwash. It'll come out of the blue hose with either black or gray water and uh, you want to run until it's clear. I said generally that's three minutes. Backwash will divert this pipe water into this sand filter out the blue discharge hose and clean your sand. So our process of cleaning the pool has been from turning the pump on to the point of our daily routines of getting the leaves off the top with the skimmer or the leaf catcher and that's for the top and for the bottom and then checking if it's cloudy if it's not cloudy you're good to go and you'll just leave the pump on for about 12 hours and then you do that daily if it is cloudy you'll go and you'll get your chlorine chlorine tablets or um, in this case there's powder and then you'll put in the algicide and you'll want to be wait about 15 minutes before you get in because you don't want to be getting in directly once it's with all of those chemicals. You want to kill all the bacteria and algae that's in there. And then once you do that, you see if it's still cloudy. If it's still cloudy or if there's a bunch of material at the bottom, you go ahead and vacuum. Then if it is cloudy and it does need to be cleaned, that is when you start the backwash process that we talked about where you turn the pump off completely and then you move the handle from filter to backwash and it takes about three to four minutes but it'll start coming That's out super. of the blue hose and it will be dark and nasty looking water. Once it runs clear, you can turn it off and then turn it back to filter.